I was watching an episode on YouTube like a few years ago. I'm like, hey, no one wears bow ties that much. And I, just, I love bow ties. Then I just got two from, from the store and uh, I taught myself how to tie for perfect uh, bow tie and uh, it hasn't stopped since then. Uh, my name is Sean Jot Singh. I am from Brampton, Ontario. I attend school full time. I work three part-time jobs. I want to go and pursue my bachelor's in social work. I want to work in a field where I serve others and I help others. And it has to do a lot with uh, how people helped me when I was younger. I was the only uh, Sikh at the Catholic school. So I, uh, I went through a lot of uh, racism. 9-11 uh, hit and the media kept portraying pictures of um, terrorists with uh, brown skin and a turban, right? So people automatically assumed that I was a terrorist. I was born and raised in Canada, but they really made me feel like I was an outsider, like I didn't belong here. And I kind of started feeling that way as well too. It was getting to a point where I couldn't stand anymore. I didn't feel like going to school. So I actually uh, went and, and spoke with a counselor and they were extremely supportive. Um, they, uh, they reassured me on what I could do. And um, they, uh, they also spoke to the individuals that were they were engaging in these uh, in, in this bullying, and it, it helped a little bit, but it's, it kept on going on and on and on. And with with my time there, I felt that I, I grew up a bit of a thicker skin. I learned how to use my words to get out of situations like that. But um, yeah, it, it was it was tough at times. I was lucky; I had a lot of friends at, at the Catholic school as well too. They really helped me get get past it because they didn't they saw past my uh, the way I look, my appearance. I, uh, I just recently organized an event called Take Back Tonight, which, um, which is all about empowerment of women and violence against women and equality for women. It's something that I'm very passionate about, uh, to fight against domestic violence and violence against women. It's something that I actually grew up witnessing. My father was very, very abusive um, uh, towards my mother and my, my sister and myself. And um, my mom actually got up the courage and she left. She had everything against her, being a single parent, being an immigrant, um, being a woman of color, and uh, still, against all odds, she still was able to raise my, my sister and myself, and also have a career for herself too. The main thing that I learned from my mom was that no matter what life throws at you, to never give up and continue to work hard. I have a little part project in being with PCHS as the Youth Mentorship Coordinator. It's a program that, um, that we started. What we did is, is it's an eight-week program where we get the youth, I'll have a discussion with them and say like, hey, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? So some people will be a doctor, a lawyer, an artist, or a police officer. And I'll get someone that's in that profession or going into that profession and just to spend time with them for two hours on a Saturday. That is my dream to make that program big. I really want to because I feel that if I had something, someone like that in my life when I was that age, when I was 14, 15, I think it would really help me along after high school.